Guys, I got here two weeks ago and I haven't made one video. Uh, there's not much to do though. I'm still looking for a job. I don't have a car, so I can't go anywhere anyways. So I'm just here at home. I've gotten a lot of interviews and a lot of replies, but I still haven't chosen one job that I want to do. But today I'm making a video because he might be, he might get a little interest. One of my friends invited me to go with him to someone's wedding. So we're gonna go hit that up. But the problem is that I don't have any anything to wear. When I moved, I used to have a suit, but and like some and some jackets and everything. But I don't know what happened to any of that. So I don't know if I threw it away or it just got lost. I mean, I've been moving a lot, so I don't have anything. So I'm trying to get people to lend me some stuff. So like a suit and a jacket, my brother, my friends. So we'll see what I can get. Yeah, it's right now. I'm on my way to see a friend which you guys know who he is, if you guys follow my channel. Organic mango steam. Mm -hmm. Organic avocado. So guys, I am hanging out here with Eric. You guys know Eric from Panama. Yo. I'm from Colorado, he's everywhere, man. I'm everywhere. We are gonna be going to a wedding, you guys. So <laughs> we're gonna see how this, how this goes down. <laughs> this place right here is really nice, though. Eric says that uh, this is where you get murdered and nobody will find you for like a month. Nope, just bones. But it's really, really nice. Self indeed. Need it? Oh, fuck it. No. Anything. <laughs> Someone he was supposed to bring. Her name is Yana. Her name is Yana, but she didn't make it. So. Yeah, unfortunately, she I'm the replacement. I'm the dates. Right. What a lucky motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this place. It's really nice. Oh, there's the groom and the bride over there. So we're right in the middle of nature, and I guess there's deer here. White tail deer. Where? Yeah, you can see it right there. He's looking over here. That's crazy when he you saw you. Oh, 
Jesse's hound dogs for a fucking <laughs> hour and a half. Super lazy. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> it's, and it's getting Straight dark in. as fuck too. And they're running. But when the when the when the dots stop moving, that means they have a pig at bay. All that right. means the pig gassed out and they can't run anymore. Right. Then we drive as far as the road will take us. When, when there's no more road, we get the pit bull that has the armor on and we start walking through the dark woods. We walk for another hour. They're still in the same spot. After a while, it's been about three hours, you can hear barking. When you think you're 100 yards away and the dudes know what barking sounds like 100 yards away, you let the pit bull go, right? And then it's like all dark and all quiet. And all of a sudden you hear fucking rah, you just hear fucking war. The pit bull and the pig are now fucking fighting. So we oh, run shit. in as fast as we can. This is a they, real thing? Yeah. I got pictures. I'll show you in a second. Yeah. They, they, they turn the spotlight on. I jump down in the ravine. All the barking dogs are on the outside. The pit bull is biting onto the pig's ear, and the pig's fucking trying to tusk it. They gave me instructions beforehand, so I know what to do. I run up the floor behind it. I grab the pig's back legs and fucking flip it over. The pig lands on its side. I put my knee on it and pick up its arm. I pull out my big ass fucking knife. <laughs> oh my I snap the pig. I'm like, actually, can no I snap. I snap the pig. There, like, yeah. I'm like, I snap the pig in the armpit. They told me, oh. hey, they told me it would take one try. The knife didn't go in far enough. So I stabbed it again, and the blood. Damn, you ain't confident on this yeah. thing, man. The blood shot up my fucking arm. I swear to God, you'll see in the picture. Then, as soon as they do that, <laughs> they, then they say saw, and you fucking saw towards its breastplate, and the pig is going. <laughs> fucking crazy, and then it's dead, and then they do it. Then you have 300 pounds of fresh pork. <laughs> Holy shit. That whole ah, that ends in a happy be, story. Right? We're going to a uh, reception. Uh, according to the uh, itinerary, it's like three weddings all in one, so we should have a good time. <laughs> Let's go!